and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Selesnia proliferate. <laughs> oh yeah, Hawkeye's, Hawkeye's just chilling here. Um, so yeah, this is a donation deck. We got two donation decks to finish out the stream today. You can see, you can tell them by the, the two uh, Ds here. <clears throat> this deck is, you know, just focus on this proliferate mechanic. We got Huatli's Raptors in here and just a whole bunch of counter stuff. We got Evolution Sage proliferating. Our Johnny's getting counters on everything. Vivian getting some counters on stuff and making our things have trample. As y'all know, I absolutely love Vivian. And so I'm excited to play uh, two, hoping, kind of wishing we had more, but we got a couple of those. Got some Law Rune Enforcers for some removal, which I like that. Um, yeah, we're just kind of like this this aggro deck that's also trying to not really like grind our opponents out, but just make our creatures really, really big. Unbreakable formation make, gives us a really good combat step. Our we have like the Pelt Collector who all these Raptors is kind of a combo. Get to play Pelt Collector on turn one, and then on turn two, if you play Raptor, you get a counter on the Collector, and then you proliferate it, so you make it a, a three three, so you can have a, a Wild and Coddle there right away. Um, yeah, we do have the two honor guards in the sideboard, which look a little strange considering like that's kind of like our whole deck gets shut down by honor guard, a lot of our deck, but I guess like the Risen Reef decks are just so powerful that we need honor guards, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of like a green white aggro deck. Definitely like our, these planeswalkers here. Wouldn't mind seeing more of the four mana planeswalkers. Like the other, the regular white Ajani would pr probably be pretty good in here too, with the counter theme, and bring you know I could minus and bring some stuff back. Wouldn't mind some of those either, but we'll give this a try here. Maybe we should throw one or two of those in the sideboard. That Ajani is just awesome. Let's. I want to throw a couple of those in the sideboard. Do you mind Vierde? Get this baffling end back out here. And one of these bindings. Get a couple of those in here. It's just such a good card. I guess... Oh, no, yeah, this isn't really a ro rotation-proof deck because of the Explore package. All right, that's what we're going to do. All right. Sounds fine? Cool. All right, so it's a, with it being a donation deck, let's head on over to our traditional constructed queue. Play until we either win five or lose three. That's not right. Lose two. Whichever happens first. All right, I'll edit our deck list over on Stream Decker 2. Panda Bar. And we're going to see if we are professional hmm if we can professionally liferate or if we're just going to be amateur liferates let's ditch this law rune enforcer hopefully we're going to proliferate be a proliferate Hopefully. And there are a lot of Ajani's. Casting Vivian is going to be a tad bit of a challenge, admittedly. Wow, Kaya? We are wrecked. Get that thing out of here. No. Good scry there. You won. This time. Yep. Most of our deck is creatures. We only have seven of like these 
these kind of spell, these spell type cards that are like only good when you have creatures out. And you know, we have three of the seven in our hand and then we just put a fourth one on the bottom there. Sorry I'm late. Time is much more malleable than people think. Yeah, this is game. Yeah, we we got the jung we got the jungle plains. So that's cool. We got the green the Hurry. green white plains. Nah. You don't need to see these cards. All right, so let's get rid of Unbreakable Formation. Um, Vivian looks like basically impossible to cast. I don't want Prison Realm. I don't want Law Rune Enforcer. Basically, don't want the cards that we were just drawing. I guess a Johnny's not. This a Johnny's not good in this matchup. All right, Unbreakable Formation, you're back. Because yeah, this this a Johnny's only good when you have creatures. But playing against a, a control deck, they do a good job of killing your creatures, which makes this one not do anything. So we're gonna replace it with the other Johnny that can bring bring creatures back. And I guess we'll have some Unbreakable Formations to try to save from a Kaya's Wrath, but that doesn't usually work, but maybe it will. Thanks, Paul. Oh, this, this is the kind of hand I'm here for. Turn two Gideon on the play. Your service. I believe in you. And then, yeah, we can go like Evolution Sage or Huatli's Raptors, either one of those to proliferate this Gideon up. So we could actually minus six and exile something next turn. But unfortunately, it's only non land permanent. What if this was just like permanent? What if you could just exile lands? Like, what if we could just exile a land next turn? How sweet would that be? Yeah, again, this Gideon under the Thought Erasure. Pretty nice. I will lend you my strength. All right, we're doing it. <laughs> you know, they had turn two Thought Erasure, which is like your best turn two thing. And now we have all of this stuff. And they're like, uh, what am I supposed to be doing? I just had my turn two Thought Erasure. Yeah, turn three Thought Erasure, already missing. This is a pretty sweet hand here. Wow, we are doing it. It is good to see you, my friend. Be strong. Oh, I forgot to give something lifelink. Oh well. I believe in you, friend. <clears throat> so they. I don't think there's anything they can have. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was awesome, awesome hand. Turn two, Thought Erasure. Turn three, Thought Erasure. Turn four, you're dead. No, I haven't played with Starfield of Myst Starfield Mystic yet. I actually I have a Starfield Mystic deck. But I guess I guess yours yeah, it sounds like maybe yours is better. Yeah, you, you can send me that list, roll fee. I'm my Starfield Mystic deck that I made was black white. So I could have like uh Eldest Reborn to go along with Starfield. Uh, Mystic. Alright, going for the grindier hand here. Hey, Audio Magics. My heart beats in unison with the wild. I'd get out of the way if I were you. All right, can we have the... Do we have... We don't have any, like, good creature in our sideboard to go minus and grab, right? No, not right now. If that other Huali would have resolved, then I was going to be holding up Unbreakable Formation we're fit enough to survive. this turn, but it didn't resolve, so we're just dropping the other Raptor as well. Let's make it a two-turn clock. <laughs> Stomping time. They're going to have to settle the wreckage. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be attacking with both.
Wow. That was a, a good draw. My, my, how you've grown. <laughs> well, they, yeah, they had an instant because the, the comes through insight. So, yeah, they, they just drew insight. So, yeah, insight into settle. Pretty nice. Nothing phases me. I'm gone for now, but not forever. Stop. Well, we have to have. I guess we have Takali Honor Guard. <laughs> Please tell me I cyborged out a creature. Law Root Enforcer. Hooray. Oh no! The multiverse Kaya. thrives with wonderful creatures. Dang it. I was so glad that it was not. That we had a creature that was not Takali Honor Guard. I forgot about Kaya. Because I. Obviously, I don't want Honor Guard in this matchup because, like, it just shuts down my Branch Walkers and Jade Light Rangers, like, cards that I that I really want. To be drawing. I'm known for my excellent timing. Yeah, I think they turned the corner too. That sell the wreckage kind of got us. You won. I was not strong. Yeah, roll. Yeah, Rolfi. There's, there's no, no really preferred way. You can go with whatever. Um. Give me a second here. You do not have to fight alone. There's more work to do. Wait, the whole reason why I did that, come on, I guess I had to have full control, I guess. The whole reason why I did that, because I, I wanted to attack and then and then tap their blocker, uh, yeah, I guess I need to set a stop. Your out. They bite. Boo. Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, that was my plan to have Vivian kill off Kaya and attack their to fairy. Not doing too bad though. At least I guess keeping the keeping the, the laundry enforcer like this though does 
it does allow me to keep their garbage tap, but basically I just wasted that unbreakable formation. I didn't need to cast that. They have a fourth absorb. Yep. We're fit enough to survive. See in yourself what I see in you. Certainly hopes hope certainly hope this works. Well it's definitely hoping just to to kill the Teferi and then be able to you know tap their I'm thing not down to not kill my things. I guess this would have been better if I would have just had Vivian kill the Guard Mage and then my Law Rune Enforcer kill their Teferi. They would have the Kaya still, but Kaya only gets rid of Law Rune Enforcer and doesn't draw tons of cards like this Teferi my has. Is unmatched by my peers. Keep an open mind. So just... Yeah, Hawkeye, it's been a rough game for us. Yeah, that settle was so brutal. I'd get out of the way if I were you. I don't, I don't really know what Bark High Troll does. Is it better than any of the cards that we're playing? I don't know. Like what, I don't actually know what the card does. Hone your prowess. Like completely. I know it's a I know it's a two drop, but that's about it. I know it's like a two mana green creature. I don't know the exact text on the card though. So it's GG, it ETBs with a one one counter on it. So you can enter as a 3-3 three, three, and you pay one to remove a counter from it to give it hex proof until end of turn. Yet.
I won't hide it's kind of the cards like basically on the same level as Watley's Raptor, but both pretty weak overall for constructed. For how good for, for how good standard is right now. You need to slow down. They have a Kai's Wrath or something now. No time for a break. before action. Don't really know anything good that we can draw. The past, press, and meditate, and prepare. Looks like, looks like they have this one under control. <clears throat> We're playing the three mana creature with landfall proliferate, so that's why I'm keeping these lands in hand. Hold that thought. They know about one of them, the Sun Petal Grove. They don't know about the Temple Garden. So maybe they play like a Thought Erasure or something. I have just the trick for this. We had this, they were taking lethal, they had no cards in hand, nothing. They drew Chemister's Insight. They had exactly eight mana. They drew Chemistry's Insight. That Chemistry's Insight had to settle. That was big time. Our kinship ensures our victory. Go on without me. Return to the fight. So we know they're going to be eating our Vivian here with Dispark. However, Jade Light Ranger does have five power. So I could play Vivian, have Jade Light Ranger deal damage to Teferi. Assuming they don't have instant speed removal for Jade Light Ranger, which isn't a great assumption. Keep up the pace. You'll thank me later. I'll protect you.
I love everything from deer to dinosaurs. Anger only gets me so far. <laughs> Stomping time. I'm getting too old for this. So, see if this four or five vigilant creature. Let's try this. Can take down our Esper opponent. We're down to 16 cards in library. We're at 32. You need to take a time out. Darn. Do all their Teferis look like that? Trust me. You'll thank me later. We need to move quick. Yeah, they do. I got the special art fairies. They have so they have two dead to fairies. Keep up the pace. No, I am not making this up as I go. No more games. You know what? I'm not done yet. Ugh. I'm trying here. I'm trying. We don't have a great shot, though. Trust me, I have a plan. Well, that didn't pan out. That thought. Nine cards left. Yeah, we're just playing one mana one ones and two mana two threes over here. That's all we got. I've got it. Oh, there's a hero Let's in their deck. The good part. What if they had four heroes and they're all like in the last ten cards? This is it just might one? Be a bad idea. Hey, two man, two three. Hey, what's up, Frisky Biscuits? Thanks for that resub there.
Uh, being on that four month drink. Four month Reverse. streak. Thanks, Frisky Biscuits. All right, so that is eight subs on the day. I was just trying to finish this one out. Gods bless us in our righteous cause. Prepare for battle. Let's take it back. Don't worry, I got this. All right, we play our creature, they bounce it with little Teferi. And we lose. All right, own one. See if we can pick up a win here. Yeah, settle was was absolutely perfect. Wish I would have just attacked with one of my two creatures instead of both of them. But oh well. We had that game too. There was a really awesome hand there that match. That game two was really, really good. Where our opponent had turn two Thought Erasure and they were already dead. That turn two Thought Erasure, turn three Thought Erasure just bricked because I already played all my cards and then we killed him. Yeah, I do think Settle is, is honestly pretty good right now. I don't think anybody plays around it. It's a good way to deal with, like, a Danto Vanguard and, and like, all the, the the cards like that. Like, I do think Settle is in a pretty good spot right now. I'm probably going to play some Settles in the Jeskai Drawn from Dreams deck that I'm going to be making. Yeah, good old Wild Nacatl. Oh. Looks like we got a cat fight. Fish through time. It's <laughs> a good name. This gives I our creatures vigilance. Turn back while you still can. All right. That game looked like limited, you know. We both just played like some creatures, and then we played like this planeswalker. Is like, oh man, planeswalker and limited. That's really good. Let's get some baffling ends and. Which I guess kind of looking at the deck more, this kind of is like a limited deck. Like just uh, how it plays out. Which is always pretty nice. I like limited. I'm 
I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be taking out here. Yeah, I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to be taking out here. I mean, I'm guessing we want Larun Enforcer, Prison Realm, in this kind of matchup. This seems like the matchup for Unbreakable Formation. Also, I take out the Enforcer. No, we need to take out a three mana card. I don't think I hit uh, submit in time, honestly. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure I hit submit in, in time there. Well, we'll take this. Or awkward spot where we want to get a land with the branch walker, but we also want the branch walker to have a counter because of evolution sage. But if we don't have lands, then that doesn't really matter. So we'll just kind of see what happens. I guess either way is not is not bad for us, basically. No, pro I don't I don't understand your question, Project Vanner, but I don't I don't I can't really help you there. Does, can you just like Google search? I don't. I don't know the answer to your question. So unfortunately our opponent was on the five card hand. Were they on a four card hand? They're they're on a four card hand, wow. That's really unfortunate for them. Okay, I'm going to go with Evolution Sage next turn so I can start getting the value off every single land drop. So we'll go like Evolution Sage land, and then the following turn, hopefully we draw another land where we can go other Evolution, Evolution Sage land branch walker. Hmm. Or I could go Pelt Collector, Branch Walker. And get more creatures with counters on them. Please no resplendent angel. Conclave tribunal. We 
We kind of need some more counters on stuff. I guess I'm going to have to Unbreakable Formation next turn. I guess we're going to have to un Unbreakable Formation next turn. Or I guess I could play the other Evolution Sage first, though. We got time. Add a new Ajani to your Soren Gideon life gain deck. Yeah, new Ajani is sweet. I like that card. Double proliferate. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yeah, that formation was a good card. That was sweet. Only put put three one one counters on all your creatures and they gave they gained indestructible and vigilance. Alright, gotta win. Very good. Um, there are just a ton of decks you can be playing in Mythic and doing well with right now. There's not, like, any specific deck that I think you need to be playing. I think it kind of depends on your play style, what you like to play, all that kind of stuff. Just, the, you know, like, any of, like, the top decks that are, that are popular that lots of people play, like, they're all good. You can play anything. Hello. Certainly hoping to draw land for the Jade Light Ranger. Darn. Wish these lottery reinforcers were just lands. Now I got some more creatures with counters on them for the Raptor. Yeah, we got Esper again. This looks like the more popular version of Esper. Which Hostage Taker is a card I'm not beating. Every deck is Esper, even the Gruel ones. Oh, nice. Yeah, Golgari Citadel is it's a pretty good one. 
Cool. But yeah, feather's good. They have one good block here with the, the Jade Light Hostage Taker com, uh, combining. That's definitely a good block. Okay, are they going to go that route? I am, I'm glad they're going that route. Because, like, they could have just gone Jade Light plus Hostage Taker, and I could have only killed one of their things. Instead, I get to kill the Jade Light plus a token, so I just got to kill a token for free there. Yeah, I agree. I, I, don't, think we, I, I don't think we could just not attack. Right on schedule. I've done the hero thing before. We're not winning like the long game, so. We must regroup. Yeah, so Johnny is not. It's not good in, not good against these kind of matchups. It's basically only good when you're playing against decks that are not playing removal. Then that Ajani is good. Or if you're playing against mono red and like that gain three life is awesome. It's very good against mono red or if you're playing against decks that aren't playing removal. But against these decks with removal, it is not so good. That's more like it. I guess I really shouldn't be playing that land because of. the proliferate three drop I have practiced against me. keep an open mind Doesn't really feel like our deck has too much of a chance against Esper, unfortunately. Here we go. Esper is very good. And we're playing a little bit more of a janky deck here. That can have some cool synergies, but we don't we just don't have the power that Esper has. You know, like our We're playing a lot of like common and uncommon worth of power level cards. Compared to like all rare mythic power level cards this over there. A fight you can win. Here goes nothing.
Uh, let's see. Should I put like one creature in the sideboard for this Vivian? I just didn't have a creature in the sideboard. These unbreakable formations have just been awful. Let's just get that out of here. We'll get one of those out of here. That's the were last time, at least. It's also kind of how I used them, though, too. All right, we got another strong start for game two. We did win game two last time we played this matchup. We're going to try to be able to cast Ixalan's Binding on this hero next turn. They don't just keep getting 1-1s for everything. I'm known for my excellent timing. That's more like it. Bouncing stuff is particularly harmful when we're trying to Arcbow's a good draw. We're trying to put a bunch of 1-1 counters on stuff. If I go, if I go Vivian, kill the. If I go Vivian, kill the hero, and like attack Raptor here, they can just take it. If they just kill the Raptor, then their token kills my Vivian. I I definitely don't want the, the token to be able to kill the Vivian. Should have seen that coming. Same kind of thing here.
I don't know here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be keeping this Gideon. Next turn I'm going to be playing Little Vivian. Stop bouncing everything. Let's slow this down. This was impossible to get through. I'll protect you. We're playing Gideon now. I walk a righteous path. Your light will cleave the darkness. I'm waiting with the land to play other Vivian next turn and get more counters on things and then play land to then proliferate more things. This is hardly my worst defeat. Maybe I need to here. If they're willing to just let that thing die. No, that's fine. Infinite one ones. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Share in my light. So both these things are indestructible and have trample. So they can't just like chump lock with a 1-1. One, one. All right, well we got them down to two. This isn't a fight you can win. Not so fast. If they don't have any more spells, obviously they have another spell. I know my responsibility. Don't worry, I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 
just it's just so many tokens. This <laughs> how are we supposed to compete with all these wood ones? Uh You were lucky to get that close. That was a really good draw. That's honestly like our best thing that we could be drawing. Give these things trample. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Attack them for a bunch. Fifteen trample. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad they did not kill Vivian. Maybe they thought that that was enough to kill Vivian. So they had to block with fourteen toughness. To stay alive. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight so far. Nine, ten. That means a hero has to block. All right, we'll do this thing. So eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll do this thing first. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so they keep one, one, one. Here we're doing what, seven damage? So two, four, five, six, seven. So they're gonna keep two one ones. Okay. We're still in it. Yeah, they, they definitely messed up not killing the Vivian. Sending all they had to do was send one more creature at Vivian. Oh, I'm and we would be very thing. dead, but now we're still in it. We need to move quickly. Yeah, Pelt Collector has trample. Uh, as long as it has three counters on it, it has trample just automatically. I guess Vivian's gonna die, so I probably shouldn't attack with the Lanor Elf. Or shouldn't block with the Lanor Elf, sorry. Down. Yeah, I just have a sweeper. Why not? They just have everything they need. Oh, go ahead. Instant speed thought erasure. Sure. You can have that too. Why they don't just wait on instant speed Kaya's Wrath? If they have Kaya's Wrath, I don't know. Especially when they have thought erasure. Let's try this. And I can't play any instants. No time for a break. Let me lead the charge into darkness. I will lend you my strength. Let's go, Gideon. Well, there's a blocker. We're not going to be able to kill the her hero of Dominaria. Got it. Hurry.
will defend the weak at every opportunity. I believe in you, friend. Uh. Here goes nothing. Obviously, I don't know what's in their hand right now, but you know I. What? I'm not done yet. I. F I kind of like the attack with elite guard mage bounce the elite guard mage and replay it kind of thing Do not frighten instead of just bouncing wild growth walker if i'm on their side i tried my best it's going to do it gideon was my hope All right, well, we went one and two. Hey, got a mythic. Ready to fight. All right, got 40 gems. That was a good good random reward there. Usually it should have been an uncommon there, so I got upgraded to a mythic. Our deck felt pretty underpowered just in general, but that's that's kind of what we have here. We have a... Oh, we have a Blossoming Sands in this deck? Huh. You didn't realize that. Um, we have, you know, we have just like kind of a, a synergy type deck that we're trying out here. But, you know, it did seem, you know, kind of underpowered. Um, we're, you know, trying to make Huatli's Raptor work, but I, I haven't found... I'm not convinced this card's good enough for standard, basically. I haven't found any anything that convinces me this is good enough for standard. We have like some kind of good synergy. Like if we if we curve out, it's awesome. But like after our first seven cards, we don't we don't have any card draw, any way any like staying power or anything like that. Like we just have to ha like hope we have a, like a good curve and run over our opponent, basically. We don't really have any way to win long games. I don't think Jade Light and Branchwalker really count there. The great Ajani the Great Heart was pretty disappointing. I think this is basically just a worse card than Ajani Adversary Tyrants kind of all the time. Because Adver Adversary Tyrants, you know, helps us like get these things back and get some card advantage for us at least. I do think that the best the best shell that I've seen with Raptor, like the best reason to be playing Wildy's Raptor, besides like it with Pelt Collector, like that's pretty nice, but it's very good with the Adversary Tyrants, the minus two, bring it back, put another counter back on the Adversary Tyrants. I, I think I think those two work really, really well together. Um, but there we go. All right, so that's Selesnia Proliferate. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck. If so please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching Selesnia Proliferate. And I will see you for the next video.